This is a tutorial for Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video we will cover advanced lighting. In my previous lighting tutorial I covered the basics in terms of how to add a light, change its color, so I will post a link down below in the description. But today I want to focus on the other types of lighting and effects that you can get. So I've created a whole bunch of rooms here and in each room there's a different style of lighting. Just to recap, here is the basic light where all I've done is change the color to red and I've reduced the radius down to 32. So there's nothing else special except that this is a red light. Again, it's red color, but this time, when you come to the lighting property, you see here it says light type, and there are many different choices. So I'm going to cover most of them. So this one here is called pulse. And what that means is it'll the light will transition from on to off and back to on again. And here, under the period, which is, uh, I changed it to 128, this affects how quickly or how slowly the pulse effect works. In the third room, I've changed the light type, which is here, to flicker. And so it's going to flicker as if you had this type of fluorescent tube lighting. In the fourth room here, I have a strobe effect, which I haven't been able to adjust with this light period. Perhaps it's not a great effect for the settings that I have. Here in this room, instead of the light type, I've changed the light effect, which is here again under lighting. And as you can see here, there are many different things that you can experiment with. I'm only going to show a few. This one's called Torch Waver. So the light will wave a little bit, ever so slightly, to mimic the effect of a torch. Here it's a Fire Waver effect, so much more pronounced than the Torch Waver. Here the light effect is called watery shimmer, which is very useful when you have a pool of water and you put this light on the bottom. And this is called a searchlight effect. So it's like when you build a lighthouse and you have a rotating spotlight, so it has that cool effect for that. Here the light effect is called Disco, so you can have some fun with that. I also added a proximity trigger. This is a normal trigger. And I'm triggering this, which is a music event. So to get a music event, you come here. You go to Actor Class Browser, Triggers, Music Event. And basically what it does is it'll change the music in the level once you hit the trigger. The next lighting effect here is called Rotor. And I still haven't figured out exactly how you'd use this in the map, but it uh, looks pretty cool. So we'll show that to you. Here I added another trigger and another musical event just to turn off the music that I triggered in the previous room. But in this particular case, this is a special light effect here, a light type called Texture Palette Loop. 
And what it'll do is it'll loop through the different colors of a palette that you provide. So it's kind of a psychedelic effect to it. And how you do that is you have to change the skin here under display. So you go to display, skin, open up the gen effects package. And go to palettes and there so you can choose from so for instance a light would go from red to orange to yellow back to white and then to red again so this one's a texture palette loop lighting and the final one here that I want to show you in game is this thing which is called a light box so here you come to actor decoration UT decoration light box and you will see these all over the official maps so it's basically a translucent actor so it doesn't collide with players looks like a spotlight and then what I had to do is I had to reduce the draw scale down to 0.5 because this thing was too big for this room so you may need to play around with that and this thing does not generate any light itself so you need to add an extra light. So here I put a light on the bottom, which is orange, and a very small radius. So what that'll do is you get a little bit of a circle of light on the floor directly under this. So it just gives you a little more realistic effect here. So let's take a look at these in the game. Here in the first room is a normal light but it's just been colored red so there's nothing fancy going on here here is the pulse effect for the red so you can see how it slowly transitions from off to on and you control that by adjusting the light period here's the flickering light with this de decoration from the actor browser and I added a little bit of a sound there to go with it. Here's the room where the light is called strobe. And it's probably going to be hard to see in the video when you watch this, but there's a little bit of a, a flicker effect here as well. And this one also I think will be hard to see in the video, but there is a very slight waver effect on the wall for the torch and it's much more noticeable with the fire waver. Here in this room is the watery effect. So it's like a wavy shimmer if you will. In this room is the searchlight effect, so you can see how the light rotates around the room. Yeah. Here's the disco effect. Here is the texture palette loop. And finally here is the light box decoration. So you really should have a brush here for like a light fixture and then the light box attached to it, not attached but next to it. And then you put a circle of light on the ground to complete that spotlight effect. So in this video, I've only covered some of the light types and effects, but certainly feel free to experiment with these simply by coming here. Light effect, you will see a drop down menu with a whole bunch of choices. And then light type, which is here, not as many choices, but you'll probably use steady pulse, maybe flicker. 
and of course you will need to change the light radius depending on the effect that you want to do. Here the light period sometimes works for some of the effects and here you change color by clicking on color and then selecting a color that you like as an example and then you can make adjustments and then click OK and then it'll change it here.